Hi guys. Yes, I am looking at bicycles because I bought another one off Biggles today. And it's another three speed. Um, needs tyres. I don't think I've got any that will fit. Um, we tried everything. We All the tyres we had over there between me and Biggles, and we couldn't find one that would bloody fit them. Allegedly, they're 26 inch, but the 26 inch tyres we had wouldn't fit. Anyway, it's an old three speed, and it's um, by a French company called Moto Bicane, if I pronounce that right. Probably not. <laughs> I'm probably pronouncing it English way. Anyway, um, does need new brake pads as well, um, which isn't a problem, but it's in better nick than the um, Hercules. So if push comes to shove, what I was going to do is um, swap the wheels, because they're the same size wheels. And I might be a little teeny weeny bit out, but that doesn't matter. Um, but I haven't decided yet. It's even got let, um, lights on it, Supertez lights, which are a French company as well. So, uh, I've got a nice little French bike. I could convert it to geared if I wanted to, because it's got the lugs on the um, rear forks for the gear cable for Adralia. So, if I really want to, I could get some um, racing wheels, 26 inch racing wheels and stick in there. Actually 27s might even fit it. I could use it as a geared bike that would have, I don't know, six, five or six gears at the back. I don't know. I could try that. I don't think I've got any decent wheels. They might be too big though, 700s. I might be pushing it. Um, I've even got wheels in my Ellswick I could nick, but the Ellswick is a good working bike, so... That actually feels better to ride than the Hercules. The Hercules just feels dreadful, to be honest. I think it's one of them bikes that I just need to strip down and rebuild. Which is what I'll do with it, probably. If I don't get bored with it and scrap it. <laughs> Anyway, I've got Nemo around here, crazy my ass for something, I don't know why. Ooh, my computer chair is over there, so what am I sitting on? Well, I've got another one. Cost me five pounds from a cherry shop. And it's, uh, there. I'm not sure if it's leather, real leather, or... No, I think that could be fake leather. Um, yeah, I went over to Mum's today and got some boards cut. I've just got to patch in there. I'll have to put a support um, this way in, otherwise it's going to be a bit springy. Um, and that's the board I've got to trim to go in that gap. But apart from that, obviously by the time I got home, home there, Obviously, by the time I got home tonight, that was too late to um, pull the drill out. Oh, my shoe is coming down. Oh, I might as well kick my shoes off then. Yeah, it was too late to um, get the screws out and fix it, so... I didn't manage to trim this bit to size using a standard knife, actually. Um, and I managed to do two cuts in total with one blade, so... It can be done with plywood. Sorry about all that, I was scratching my wrist. I've uh, been quite itchy lately. Between my psoriasis and bug bites and... I don't fucking know what else, to be honest. Um, yeah. Although I have decided I'm going to do a slightly different Lego diorama on here. Um... So I'm going to go with, or do the beach theme I wanted to do on the bedroom floor. 
but this area is going to be like the little beach area. But there'll be more details of that on my um, Lego channel, which is the Brick Nut Thirty. And that is a really wibbly wobbly edge going down there. So I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure how well I may actually cut another one to go in there tomorrow. I think that would be because I'll do it with the hand saw instead if I can. It might be a bit of a pain in the ass to hold it, and I may have to go and get a different saw, but. No. I suppose at the end of the day it's all going to be covered up with boards like that anyway, isn't it? So, Ooh. that was a bit windy. I don't know, I'm going to play around with some layouts when I get this done and I'll decide later what I want to do. If I get bored of one, I can always change it. That's why I like to um, create models with Lego, because if you get bored with it, you can smash it up and build something else. I don't know what this pillock is doing. What are you doing, you numpty? Oh, I just let a fart go and actually, that is a... Whew, that's a strong one. <laughs> uh, I managed to get another one of those today when I was in Roy's. I had to go into Roy's and get my stepdad some solder anyway, so and I walked straight past those and I thought I'd just grab one while I'm in there. Um, you may recall when I had my Gary Fisher bike stolen in February, I had a set of lights on there that I bought from Lidl and they were a bloody good set of lights. Can't remember what I paid for them last time, but... Um, I was a bit miffed that they were on the bike when it got nicked, because they were a pretty bright, decent set of lights. Um, but when I went into Lidl's with Mum today, I noticed they had these li those lights back in stock. Because the thing with Lidl's is they um, sort of rotate their hardware stock. So um, it'll probably be like not until next year now that I'll get another set. If I wanted another set. But um, my old set was black. And Littles only had one left in their little basket thing. So I grabbed one. Because um, these are, in my opinion, for the price, they're six ninety nine for the set. But they are a decent set. There's even what looks like, a di there's a 6 volt DC jack there, so I assume I could put rechargeable batteries in there and charge it. There's some info written on there. Uh, tool free assembly with quick mounting device, battery change indicator and integrated recharging socket. Ah, yeah, I was right. Suitable for all standard bikes. Well, this would actually go on pretty much any bike, so long as there's room on your seat post and your handlebar. Um, but one thing that is different in this set, though, to the first set I bought, is this. That's a um, thumb finger screw that allows you to um, adjust the um, angle of the rear light so you can move the bracket up and down. This is just a rubber strap that you strap, stretch around your seat post or your rear fork or wherever you want to mount the light and there's a little hook just up there that you just hook it in. Same principle as the current rear light I've got on my Claude Butler because that's where these are going. They're going on my Claude Butler. Um, so I'm going to take one set off and put these ones on. Um, I might actually get some rechargeable... When Lidl's have their rechargeable batteries in again, I'm going to get some for this so I can um, charge it. But it doesn't actually say how long for. I suppose that would depend on the batteries you put in it. Extra bright headlight with adjustable brightness. 
Oh yeah, my old one used to do that as well. Well, I can't remember if it started off with the brightest set and then to the dimmest set, or because it's got two brightness settings. Uh, let's have a look. Where is it? 15 and 30 lux. And trust me, on 30 lux, these things are bright. I was uh, impressed. I think the um, lens design is a bit different on this as well to the first one I had. But the lamp body shape is exactly the same. And I've got the same batteries as well. In fact, lying up here, it was just before the Gary Fisher got stolen, I had just changed the batteries in the lights. So not only did the thief get some decent bike lights, they got brand new fucking batteries as well. But here we go. Just some Panasonics. Now I know I've said in the past I don't like Panasonics, but I have to say these lasted a very long time in um, the first set I bought. And actually I didn't really need to change them because they were still bright enough to be used, perfectly bright enough actually to be used in and around town. Oh. Crap. That's what I want to do. Oh well. There's always tomorrow. There's some, um, planks of wood about the same width as the side of the, um, bookcase there. Which is a bit too wide to make shelves to go up there. But, um, stepdad said if I get them, then I can take them over and, um, he'll cut, um, trim them down, make them a bit thinner on the um, table saw. That's A, if they're still out there by the weeding bin. So I think they came from the council office over there and they just, well, they tried to put everything into this bookcase in the wheelie bin, but obviously the sides were too tall for the bin. So they just left them outside leaning up against the wall. Although they've been rained on now, so I don't know if they're actually going to be any good. But um, they are about that length. Like I said, I could do with like two or three inches sliced off of them if I did go and get them. I'll have a look at them maybe tomorrow if they're still there. Someone may have already pinched them. <coughs> I forgot to look when um, Mum dropped me off. I keep worrying about the edges, but if that much is going to hang over the edge, then no one's going to bloody see it, really, is there? Are they? So, yeah. Yeah, just leave it as it is. Um. Yeah. I haven't really done a lot not for the last couple of days. Ooh, dear me. I can actually see a wet patch on my bit of wood. <laughs> you alright, Nemo? You're just after some cuddles. Is that what you're after? Got some extra ply there and some extra ply there. Well, I could actually make another table out of that. Oh, and I am toying with the idea of getting rid of the sofa. Do I might keep it? I don't know. I don't know. I was thinking of getting rid of it because it is, you know, getting extremely tatty. With um, some splits there and cracked leather and whatnot. And it would give me a bit more space up this corner. And I could actually get a two-seater sofa to put in here, something a bit smaller. Because um, I don't use it, and I would only really need something here for when I do have friends and family stop by. Which isn't actually that often. I usually go to theirs rather than them come here. I don't know why that is. But uh, never mind. I don't want it don't bother me. 
Um, Once I've got this table finished, I can actually clear all the friggin' wood out of here. One more brace, I suppose we could call it, to put in. That we should be fully charged now. Uh. <laughs> Cat's looking at me as if to say, what the fuck? <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to think what else I've got to do tomorrow. Not a lot. Decided I'm going to sell the um, Apollo suspension bike because uh, it's a nice bike, but I think I'll go for something a bit different. So I'm going to take the lights back off because I've got a bike I can fit them too. Uh, then uh, put that up for sale. I might put that up for sale tomorrow. Actually. Yeah, this chair does um, rotate quite easy. <laughs> uh, so much crap I need to clear up. Roy's in town. I've noticed I've got a lot of their Christmas gear out, decoration-wise. Christmas lights and whatnot, and I do not need any more Christmas lights. I've got enough in that cupboard as it is. <laughs> in fact, I've got them in three different cupboards. But uh, I won't even go there. <laughs> uh, well, I suppose I could fit these tomorrow, weather permitting. That'd give me something to do. Um. Something else on what to do tomorrow, and I can't remember. I was going to have a look at Black Records, see if he's got anything of interest. Yeah, yeah picture quality isn't very good up close, is it? Well. Soon, I will get the camera soon. Very soon, hopefully. My ad sense is creeping up. Slowly. <laughs> Very slowly. But if I can't get one before Christmas, it will be a New Year's resolution to get one as soon as possible. Here we go again. <sighs> oh. I might actually have to call it night. Look, shithead. That is not for you to go sitting on, lying on, or sleeping on. Mum's landlord's cat is getting pretty old. I can't remember how old um, the landlord said he was now, but uh, he did have two cats when Mum moved in. But unfortunately, the girl one passed away. But she was very old and very poorly. And uh, at one point, I actually thought Harry, the other one, was going to pass away soon as well, because uh, I remember for. A few weeks or so he looked really really poorly and he was um, staggering around on all four legs and I thought you know he ain't going to last long but I've seen him today and he's running around <laughs> as happy as a pig in, pig in slop uh, I think this carry's got to be 15 I think the landlord said you know he's um partially deaf and partially blind I know he's not fully blind because he can actually um, see movement at least because he you can get his attention yes 
Bless him. But he does love a fuss and a cuddle. He's like this one. This one likes a fuss and a cuddle. And remind me to take that fucking cone downstairs tomorrow. Because I'm sitting here and I can still smell the scent of weed. It's not weed, it's that cone. There's either a weed scent on it, or it's just the plastic or the base that's smelling similar to weed. But uh, I'm not getting high as a kite, so it can't be weed. <laughs> but uh, it does smell. <laughs> Do you want to put them on the bike for me? Shall I teach you how to do it? <laughs> you actually feel pretty cool. Where have you been? I know he doesn't want food because I've already fed him. He's got a dish full. I like guarantee if I go in the kitchen there's still some in his dish. So he just wants attention, don't you? Yes, you do. My little fluffy little boy. Not many cats that are this affectionate. Only when he wants something. Most of the time he doesn't want to know. <laughs> but as soon as he wants something... Oh, I wonder if his water dish is actually getting low. That might be what he wants. Get rid of that thing out of the way. I don't want to dump it because it's still, um, you know, the actual top is still in pretty good nick. It's lost, well, as you can see, it's got the um, stick on trim there, but it's fallen off this side. If you put it up against the wall, or put that side up against the wall or something, no one's going to notice. I mean, the rest of it is all good. It's all sturdy and solid. It's not falling to bits. It'd be um, ideal for someone who's just setting up a home or something. Or, I don't know, a second-hand shop. I can have it. I don't care, just take it out of my bloody way. If someone could take it and put it in their second-hand shop, <coughs> then, uh, fine by me. I just don't personally think it's worth anything. But, uh, it's like a catch-22 situ situation. I don't think it's worth anything money-wise. Maybe a fiver if you're lucky. But um, it's still too good to throw out, which is why I want to put it up for free. And uh, I might as well give something back. I'm always taking things for free, so... That can go up for free. It's not the first item I've given away. I have given away other things, but... I just don't like being so one-sided. So, uh, you know, if I can give back to the community, then I'll give back. I'd do the same with the sofa, but that really isn't worth it. <laughs> Not even as a free sofa. And if it was in slightly better condition, i.e. none of that cracking or split, then, yeah, I'd have probably put that up for free as well. Again, ideal for someone who's just moving into their first home or something similar. <sighs> oh, got me two spots on. Actually, lights up this table quite nicely. So, uh, yeah, I want, um,. I won't um, bother with a dimmer, I don't think. I want some different lighting effects. I can always change the wattage of bulb or change the colour. Change the colour quite easily. <laughs> right. Um, so if I get 
another shelf up to go all the way along there, end to end, like I've done with these two. I could actually do away with this bookcase as well. And that would give me some extra room for something up this corner too. Because, uh, in theory, with a longer shelf up there, I should be able to get most of this 1980s stuff up on there. Possibly. Maybe. <laughs> um, therefore, freeing up hopefully two shelves. Because I suppose I could make two long shelves out of that bookcase. So I could dismantle it and take the sides to my stepdad's and trim them down to the right width, but then again they're not going to really match with the rest of the shelves, are they? Whereas the two that are outside would. Not a perfect match, but they'd be closer. They're probably more the style or colour of these ones here. Um, so, yeah, I think I'll go after those. I could go after them now if I really wanted to, but I'm tired. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Because uh, I had to stay up. Because that was payday. So I had to stay up. Pay the phone bill so I could get me internet back. And I had to go and get my money. Well, I didn't have to go and get my money. I just like to get the money anyway. And I went for a little bit of a walk, come back pissed around to see if I could st get online and I couldn't, then I went to bed. <laughs> and I woke up early because Mum was going to be here. And she was here for about 10, shortly after 10, I think. And then I had an appointment at 11.20 at the surgery. The doctor's surgery, that is. So, yeah, I didn't get a lot of sleepies. I should get a lot of sleepies tonight, though. I hope. Dear me, I apologise for that. Um, I think I might have a bit of a cold coming because I've got a slightly sore throat. My nose feels, on my sinuses feel like it's filling up with mucus, which is what I just coughed up. So I might have a bit of a cold coming. Um, I hope it's not the flu because I'm due for the flu jab in just over two weeks. <laughs> I'd be a bloody bitch if I get the flu now, wouldn't I? I've actually never... Well, I'm not going to say I never had the flu. I'm going to say it's been absolute years since I've had the flu. Because um, I do have... I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but I do have quite a good immune system. I've even had a doctor tell me that as well. I've got a good immune system, but... Um, Diabetes can make it weaker, which is why they recommend, you don't have to, but they recommend that if you're diabetic, you have the flu jab. So, um, I pushed my luck last year and didn't have the flu jab, but uh, I'm not one that likes pushing my luck too much, so I figured I'd have it this year. Obviously, if I'm well enough, you know, if I'm sick or whatever, I can't, but... <clears throat> I tidy my squirrels up, because certain someone walks along the window ledge and has knocked them all, all over the place. <laughs> Cat hair up my nose. Fuck. Can't wait to have this all screwed down and finished in the morning or lunchtime. By the time I've sort of woken up and gone and got something to eat and 
faffed around on Facebook playing stupid Facebook games that I, for some reason I enjoy doing before I do any. It's like a routine. Um, there's a lot of people with Asperger's ha um, love. Um, that's one stereotype we are known for, to have a routine. Same with um, as people who have autism. Um, so, pretty much my routine is wake up, sit up in bed, wake myself up a bit and have a scratch and, you know, scratch my ass, pick my nose, all them sort of manly things. Get up, go for a pee. Um... Sometimes feed the cat, although I do like to feed Nemo while I'm getting my own breakfast. Um, turn the PC on, and then go and get dressed while this is powering up. Uh, and I'll bring it up. And I'll do this the same every day. Facebook and then YouTube and then usually any other my, of my favourite websites I need to check but uh, yeah, I can go into that in another video I think I will do another video on that actually um, but for now <clears throat> I'm going to say a good night because it is well it's actually gone 12.30 at night or midnight 30 we always say 12.30 here regardless. 12.30 in the morning or 12.30 at night. Um, in the afternoon. Well, actually it would be 12.30 in the morning now. 12.30 a.m. Uh, 12.33 according to the clock on the computer. Which is probably a lot more accurate than that one up there. Anyway. I'm going to say good night. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, hit the like button if you like the video. If not, you can hit the dislike button. If not, you don't have to. <laughs> it's up to you. And um, I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.